Hello, this is our new episode of Hungarian Wine Stories. There is a fun and wacky and interesting and unique uh, winery that I would like to introduce uh, you today. We'll be staying in the Eger wine region, if you remember that's in the northeastern uh, uh, part of the country. And uh, the name of the uh, winery is uh, Boiki. It is uh, situated only a couple of uh, minutes uh, drive from uh, the city of, of Eger and uh, it is uh, unique and unconventional in, in all kinds of uh, senses. It is situated in an old abandoned uh, stone quarry surrounded by somewhere 30 uh, meter uh, high rocks so the whole winery uh, seems like uh, and feels like it is kind of like carved uh, into uh, the rock. It feels like a park and uh, with all uh, these unconventional uh, surroundings and uh, specific picturesque uh, features it feels like uh, it is a UFO uh, among uh, all the so-called old-fashioned uh, uh, wineries uh, of uh, Eger. Uh, I use the word UFO uh, on purpose because uh, the image uh, occurs and reoccurs uh, quite often on the labels and on the visual uh, arts uh, of uh, the winery actually. If you check, there is one here on the label. The vineyard involves in itself uh, four uh, mine pits that are in interconnected with each other through uh, tunnels and uh, there are nine uh, wine cellars uh, that are also included in the, in the whole uh, vineyard uh, package. The whole uh, winery conveys a, a territory of about uh, 4, 4.2 uh, hectares. The owner of the vineyard is uh, Janos Boyki. He's a first uh, generation uh, winemaker, offering a useful and dynamic take on classic Hungarian wines. Janos, or Joni, as many know him, Joni being the nickname of uh, Janos, is creative and unconventional, and uh, some joke that uh, He's so full of energy and so energetic that uh, he has more energy than half of the whole uh, Eger uh, wine region uh, combined. He's the type of uh, guy who, after working a full day uh, in the vineyard, can go home and organize uh, parties and concerts, and if he feels so, he can uh, DJ uh, into the night. By profession, Yoni is an agricultural engineer uh, who grew up in the winery and has been making wine for about uh, 20 uh, years now. His approach is very minimalist, so he makes wine with uh, minimal intervention. Uh, he produces a range of red and white wines that evoke uh, the unique terroirs, carinder and uh, rich uh, minerality. He ferments his wines using natural yeast and bottles most of uh, his wines unfiltered. Boiki works with both indigenous and local grape varieties like uh, Blauburger, Cake Francos Kodarko, as well as uh, big uh, international varieties like uh, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, uh, Sauvignon Blanc. The wines follow the general winemaking style of the region, but somehow each of his wines have a, a fresh and lively character with a distinctly useful and modern touch, putting his own uh, a twist on Egger's uh, classic uh, style. His wines, as I mentioned, are fun and unconventional and dynamic, but so are the winery's uh, labels and visual art, as I implied uh, earlier, so the UFO is uh, there on, on many of the labels. And uh, the whole design is, is uh, wacky and, and, and fun, and uh, even if you go to their website, it, it's, it's really, really funny and uh, unique and uh, unusual. Unfortunately, it is only available in Hungarian, uh, as of now, uh, at least. Boyki's most uh, popular uh, wines are Egri Bikovir, or Eger Bullsblood, and uh, Egri Chillog, or Eger Chillog. Uh, that's the, the white blend, so the red blend and the white blend, which are also the signature uh, wines uh, of the region. But uh, today we are going to check their single variety uh, Cabernet Franc, which uh, happens to be one of uh, my favorite uh, red grape varieties. So why don't we give it a try?
So just after popping uh, the cork, uh, the wine reveals itself uh, pretty uh, quickly and uh, it doesn't really shy away showing itself. So the, the nose is abundant. It's full of uh, red and, uh, uh, and black berries and, and fruits. So lots of red cherries, red wild berries, blackberries, blueberries black mulberries and there is also some secondary and tertiary notes like uh, leather, spices, underbush, some licorice, really nice nose right from the beginning. Really nice mouthfeel. It actually after after drinking a few sips or a, a sip you feel that it is not Hungary is, is famous for its uh, Cabernet Franc, but uh, the region is in the south. The uh, region is called Villain. Uh, this Cabernet Franc is from Eger, which is uh, much higher. So the bolder, fuller body uh, Cabernet Franc from Villain is, uh, is different because the climate is much somewhat warmer than in Eger. So this uh, feels uh, lighter with much more minerality and acidity. And uh, more red fruits are felt on the palate. So the, the difference uh, between the warmer climate and the climate which is up uh, uh, more in the northeastern part of the uh, country can be felt really nice. Some vanilla can be felt now that the wine is opening. It's pretty tart really ample uh, amount of uh, tannins. As I mentioned, rich minerality, which uh, Boyki actually is, is famous for. Really nice acidity. The wine actually has been matured in, uh, in tanks and it has been aged for uh, 12 months in uh, 500 liter uh, oak barrels. As I mentioned, minimal intervention, natural yeasts, uh, bottled, unfiltered. I think 14 degrees of alcohol. Yes. So this uh, 2019 vintage of Cabernet Franc drinks really, really well now. Uh, you can keep it for some time. And uh, oh, and the, the most important thing, or one of the most important things, is that this too can be purchased in Korea. So uh, don't miss it. See you next time. Goodbye.